Hi, I'm Drew Hopkins. And I'm John Parr. We are Viridis Aquaponics. We have a vision to put an aquaponics greenhouse in every school in the United States. The way that uh, we've been dealing with food on a, a global scale need, needs a change. With this greenhouse and this volume, we can feed everybody with a tiny footprint. We're here in the middle of this great big commercial greenhouse and we'd like to take all the components that surround us and bring it into a small greenhouse that can fit in a schoolyard. You'll see there's a current in the water and it's circular. The Aquaponics Greenhouse Project provides a perfect learning platform for teachers and students. They can study anything from agriculture to biology, science, chemistry, and because ancient civilizations used this method to grow in thousands of years ago, they can study history also. So, you guys, what do you think of aquaponics? It's healthier. Yeah. We use water. It impact the environment. Healthier foods. Yeah. Less chemicals in my food. Yeah. The fact that one of these systems could exist in an urban environment was a huge draw to me and interest in aquaponics. They say it takes a village to feed a family, and that's certainly been the case here. My wife and our three kids and Drew and his family have been instrumental in getting this thing done. John had a great deal of knowledge. He's a guru of aquaponics and has made amazing technological advances. Our plan was to start with 5,000 square feet per month and just expand into it. Within four months, we'd completed this 90,000 square feet, two acres. That's why I think that's what, what's blown our hair back the most, is how much this can produce and how fast. What can we do to change agriculture to make our planet better? And right now, there's so many people that are passionate about green living, recycling, composting, and eating better and more healthy that it's the perfect time to introduce aquaponics. Aquaponics is the combination of two industries, aquaculture and hydroponics. It all starts right here with a tank of fish. This fish was planted nine months ago at an inch long. Isn't that beautiful? A sturgeon. The sturgeon provide the nutrition by eating the fish food, which then is passed through a number of filters. Finally, it falls into this bladder. See, this is a bladder bag of water. It's just a big bag of mud. And as the water flows through here, it's available to these plants, which wick the water up and grow like crazy. It comes across here under the ground into the stream of water, and it comes up here like a spring where everything that a plant needs is bioavailable in this teeth of water. It flows back and forth through these streams until it's deficient of nutrition again, and then it's circulated from here right back up to where it gets bubbles and falls like a waterfall and oxygenates the fish again. So the entire system is closed and healthy because clean water goes in and fertilizer water comes out. This is aquaponics. I would say the three things over conventional farming that aquaponics provides is one, sustainability. Aquaponics must cherish the ecosystem. So we're really conscious of that. We don't put anything on these plants that we couldn't eat. Two, the yield. Per square foot out in the field, they get three heads of lettuce per year. Here, we do four per month. Three, the water conservation. We're using 5% of the water of all the farms around us to produce more food. There you go, you bite into that thing. I am, I've been. <laughs> so this area of the table represents 5,000 seeds, which are planted every day. We plant 5,000 seeds a day, and we harvest 5,000 plants a day in each acre. With this greenhouse, and the capacity to grow food at this scale is an amazing gift to put in the hands of children, teachers, and communities. We have a vision to put an aquaponics greenhouse in every school in the United States. The greenhouse will fit in a 30 by 60 area and provide 50 families with food every single week. That's a lot of food. We need your help for the whole project. Five schools is our initial goal, but we want to transfer this across the country rapidly. With the help of interns and team leaders, the students will have every opportunity to take care of this little farm. They can seed, they can transplant, they can harvest, they can even pack the box that their family will take home for the meal that week. 
and it's designed to be a very easy to put together kit that a community can do in a weekend. With your help, we're going to be able to install this project at no cost to the school. We need to raise $250,000 to put this aquaponics greenhouse in five schools, and then we'll roll on across America. Help us put food production back in the communities across the country.